Let's talk about machine simulation. On the molding floor, you don't get the opportunity to just make changes to the machine to see what's going to happen. You learn injection molding day in and day out by trial and error. That's been the traditional method. There are better methods now, but in the, in the past years, learning by trial and error has been the method. You have a problem on the molding floor, you make adjustments to the machine until you solve it. You may solve it right away, may take days. You don't really know why the problem occurred unless you know the four variables. Uh, you just know with long experience you can solve molding problems. Often that long experience is 5, 10, 20 years. It's a very expensive training program. You can mold an awful lot if you use a molding machine simulator. Now a good molding machine simulator has all of the machine controls on it. It adjusts the four variables by changing the machine controls. In other words, the machine controls are programmed. The, mat the mathematics of it, the equations of it, have determined what effect that machine control will have on the four variables. And then, what effect those four variables are likely to have on the molded part. If you could learn injection molding, by simulation, you can introduce part problems and solve them. You can change machine controls and see what it did to the four variables. In short, it's a much faster and more efficient learning process. The steps will be to, first of all, set the controls on the simulator, select a molded part, select a plastic, and then mold. See what happens. See how good your setup is. If it's not good, the simulator will give you some defects in the parts. It may give you surprises as to what the actual conditions of the four variables are. But you'll learn on simulation, just as a pilot learns on simulating an aircraft flight, the, the effects of each control and very quickly what the control does. On a simulator, you can change barrel temperatures and immediately start molding. On a machine, wait 20 minutes before you can find out what happens. So, in addition to just learning about the four variables and their effect on the part properties and the effect of each machine control on the four variables, you can now practice those machine controls, setting those machine controls, and see what happens to both the parts and to the four variables.